Hi, this is episode 165 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. In this episode, I am continuing the series where I'm creating magnetic clip-on wall traps for my death trap dungeon. Here's a look at these 16 traps that I've completed so far. First up is a dissolving slime trap. Imagine catching something like a gelatinous cube and holding it inside a pipe. When the trap is triggered, the cube spews forth, covering the victim, dissolving it, and then gets drawn back into the pipe. Once the wall section is ready, I take an old toothpick container, empty it and clean it out and then partially fill it with some hot glue. As you can see, a part of the gelatinous cube is still stuck inside the pipe, so I'm going to need to do that part and then connect them together. The way I figured it is this is a very pliable creature. While it's kept inside the pipe, it wants to return to its cubic form. The moment it's squeezed out, it starts to turn into a cube again. I didn't want to make the whole cube because I wanted a space for the trap victim to stand. So here's part of it as it comes squeezing out and I can stand a miniature quite close to it.
Next up is a gun trap. I made this because it had four small miniature pistols. I'll leave it up to someone else to create the miniature pistols. These already existed and they were in my bits box. It's not a very complicated trap to build. I'll make this as complex as I can. You get four pistols, stick them to a piece of wood and then stick them to a wall. That's pretty much it. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. It's a scythe trap. So for this to work properly, it should probably be coming out of the ceiling, but I don't make ceilings. So I've just basically got an upside down blade swinging out of the wall. And finally I'm going to build a wall of hands trap. These hands come out of a mysterious mist and grab at the warriors that are close by, maybe dragging them back through the mist or just holding onto them and making it very hard for them to escape. Originally to match the picture on the card I was going to use small hands that were cut off old miniatures that were in my bits box. But in the end, I like the size of the hands from these Halloween skeletons. They're all flat, so I did have to bend them over by melting them with the foam prodder, as you can see in the picture just here.
So, thanks for tuning in to another episode. There's just a few more traps left in this series, and they will be put out soon. So join me then 